Hello and welcome to cookingflavors.com. For today's recipe, we look at the preparation of a very simple, easy and quick capsicum sprout spurial and here are the list of ingredients required for this. Since I've already shown you a video of how to make uh, sprouts at home, so I thought I'll uh, show you a recipe using those mung bean sprouts. For that, I've taken a kadai, added about 2 tablespoons of oil and into the oil goes in a 1 teaspoon of mustard seeds and then goes in a teaspoon of cumin seeds. A tablespoon of urad dal if you want you can also add in chana dal or bengal gram here if you wish to and now i'm adding in about two to three dry red chilies this is the only source of uh, spice or justice accordingly and uh, goes in a quarter teaspoon of asafoetida or hing now goes in a few curry leaves followed by the curry leaves i will be adding in a few pieces of ginger. I've tried it without the ginger but believe me when you add ginger it enriches the dish to a different level and now I'm adding in a few coriander leaves. So as I told you don't miss out on the ginger. We'll saute that uh, quickly and now we'll add in just about a uh, half a cup of onions. Adjust these onions according to the amount of capsicum and sprouts you have now i've taken equal quantity of capsicum and sprouts i've taken about uh, one uh, large size capsicum and uh, I, i've taken uh, sprouts in equal proportions to the capsicum here if you want you can also add in a uh, red capsicum or other colored uh, bell peppers but i like the combination of the dark green and the light green so i'm adding in the uh, green bell peppers today now the mung bean sprouts uh, remember uh, after we sprouted it we put it in the refrigerator so just before you use it every time make sure you wash it once now when you uh, pour in water you will see all the skin will start floating up if you don't want the skin you can totally uh, you can can remove those uh, skin but I don't want to miss out on the fiber so I'm adding it with the skin so all my mung bean sprouts uh, go in here we'll uh, mix that all quickly now i'm not going to add in uh, salt at the beginning itself because i want to retain the color of both the bell pepper and the uh, mung bean sprouts so we let it cook for about uh, uh, you know 50 percent and then we'll add in the required amount of salt uh, now uh, we'll cover this with the lid. I'm sprinkling a few coriander leaves here and we'll cover it with the lid and allow it to cook for some time. Now it has been cooked for about 50%. Uh, now we'll, uh, it's time for us to add in the required amount of salt. Now, now you see the bell peppers will give out a lot of water. So we'll have to wait for this uh, water to completely evaporate. So it will cook in its uh, own water. Now we'll add in the required amount of salt. Now I'm not going to cook both the bell pepper and the sprouts for a very long time. It, I'll be uh, cooking it only up to a 70% because both these vegetables can be eaten raw. So uh, we'd like to retain the crunch of the vegetables. So just about a 70%. After adding the salt, I'm not, I did not cover it with the uh, lid. Now see all the water has evaporated and uh, it has been incorporated uh, well. Now I'm adding in just about 2-3 to three tablespoons of uh, grated coconut and we'll mix that well after adding the coconut just toss it for about two minutes and switch off the stove as i told you this is a very simple puriya like any other puriya just the combination is a little different which makes it uh, yummy and tasty do try this uh, recipe and give us your feedback subscribe to our youtube channel and give in your comments and suggestions if you are new to our youtube channel welcome and happy cooking you can also visit us at cookingflavors.com and follow us on google plus share our videos with your friends if you like them and give us a thumbs up till we see you again with another new and interesting video thank you